fact, uh, one Portland resident's uh, song has been doing that since the early 80s. If we're going to be washing our hands, you might as well be making some virtual phone calls while we do it, right? Portland CW's Nicole DaCosta has more. I'm Tommy Heath. I was thinking that a good way to figure out how long you got to wash your hands, which is 20 seconds, right? And that's a long time. Is you can play a little bit of my old Tommy Two Tone song, and I have counted it out exactly. So if you just sing what I sing, it'll all work, okay? We all know Tommy Two Tone's 80s hit song 8675309 Jenny, and the Oregon resident and frontman Tommy Heath is still keeping the music alive from quarantine. So thank you so much for joining us, Tommy. How are you doing in quarantine? I'm doing all right. I'm kind of a hermit anyway, and uh, got a new record to work on, and I got my software company, so. Oh, I think that's great. And can we tell folks, I heard a little rumor that today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Today is my birthday. I'm 73. Oh, did you ever think you'd be in quarantine? <laughs> I was in quarantine once and traveling with, my dad was in the military, but no, I never thought it'd be like this. I know, it's just a, a wild time, and I think it's great some of the positive messages that you're sharing online, especially through the Tommy Two-Tone Facebook page. Tell us how the idea came about to shoot that fun video of you telling folks to, to wash their hands. Uh, it was actually a friend of mine from down in Alabama works for an affiliate of you, and he had the idea, and I agreed right away. I mean, you don't have to sing that phone number. You can sing anybody's phone number. Sing your girlfriend's phone number <laughs> or your own kids. Exactly. And with kids and, and trying to keep everybody, everyone's cooped up at home. The great thing about your hit song, it's just so catchy. And like you said, any phone number can be used. So maybe kids could be learning their own phone number in this time. Uh, yes, it is catchy. And I, my motto is music for all ages. So the kids still like that song. So I guess it'll be around for a little while. It has been around for a little while. Did you think back in the 80s that this song would take on the life that it has? No, and it's, you know, trying to analyze it, some kind of weird magic combination, thought control or something. So was Jenny a real person or, or what sparked that hit song? Well, it's kind of strange. Um, Jenny and I think she's real and that was her parents' phone number. But my partner at the time, Jim Keller and, and Alex Call, who wrote the song, say she's not real. So it depends on who you believe. I'm sure with everything going on in the world, I mean, your performing schedule has come to a, a screeching halt like everybody else. Did you have a whole summer booked or how, how did that affect you? It was pretty interesting little touring. I'm opening a lot for some big bands and I'm also supporting my own solo album, was Tommy Heath, which is called Beautiful Ending. We're working on a virtual concert series that benefits all musicians. It's called uh, Hard Road USA, and I'm, it's a foundation I'm involved in. So that's another thing I'm doing while I'm at home. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah, that's so good, because so many people are out of work, and, and honestly, in these times, it's music that's lifting our spirits, and I want us all to go play your song today and just dance around the kitchen and wash our hands. You're doing a great job. It's six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. For Coin News AM Extra, I'm Nicole DaCosta.